Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla submits proposal for dealership and service center in Chicopee, Massachusetts. Tesla VP of Vehicle Engineering explains uncompromising approach to safety. Tesla Cybertruck Beta looks production ready, with original aero covers and all-season tires. And, Tesla releases FSD update, leaps forward in safety and customization. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla's dealership and service center proposal in Chicopee, Massachusetts, received mixed reviews from the community. City officials said the proposed Tesla facility would be built on a 7.1-acre parcel of land. It would include a 50,000-square-foot dealership with a showroom and a 48-vehicle service area. Tesla's proposal also included the installation of a charging station. According to local reports, the dealership is expected to create approximately 30 jobs and generate additional tax revenue for the city. Some residents welcome the idea of having a Tesla dealership in the area. The residents, excited about the prospect of having a Tesla dealership in Chicopee, noted the convenience of having a local Tesla dealer and service center. Some residents are concerned about the potential increase in traffic and noise pollution it could bring to the Chicopee community. According to Tesla's traffic study, the proposed dealership would increase traffic by 1.1% to 1.5% during peak weekday hours. City councilors are also concerned with the number of parking spaces Tesla plotted for the parcel of land. Tesla's proposed dealership will have 400 parking spaces, which city councilors think may be excessive. Councilor Derek Dobas recommended restricting the land size that Tesla's dealership would receive. The proposal is currently under review by the Chicopee Planning Board, and a decision is expected in the coming months. The public is encouraged to attend upcoming meetings to voice their opinions on the proposed dealership. Moving to the next update, Tesla VP of Vehicle Engineering explains uncompromising approach to safety. To say that Teslas are safe vehicles would be an understatement. The electric vehicle maker takes an uncompromising approach to vehicle safety, as evidenced by the stellar safety ratings of its cars, like the Model 3 sedan and Model Y crossover. This approach to safety was recently highlighted by Tesla VP of Vehicle Engineering, Lars Moravi, in a video. Elon Musk has noted in the past that if Tesla were to do marketing, it would not come in the form of traditional advertisements. Instead, it would be in the form of educational videos that help explain its vehicles and other products. Tesla's official YouTube channel is a good example of this strategy, as the electric vehicle maker has launched an Inside Tesla series, highlighting some of the company's innovations in its vehicles. This time around, it's all about passive safety systems. As explained by VP of Vehicle Engineering Lars Moravi, Tesla's emphasis on safety starts from the design phase. He also noted that a Tesla protecting occupants is the number one priority. Moravi noted that the company also looks to protect its vehicle's batteries during crashes, but occupants must be kept safe first. Moravi touched on several topics in his short video, such as how the Model Y's front rear megacast is optimized for controlled crushing during a crash. The VP also showed a number of innovations that Tesla adopted to make sure that the cabin is as safe as possible in the event of a collision. Arguably the most notable of these is Tesla's progressive crash structure, which would probably make cars safer if they were standardized in the automotive industry. Moravi highlighted this by walking over to a Model Y that earned a 5-star safety rating from the NHTSA. The vehicle was totaled and its front end was completely crushed, but as per the Tesla VP, the Model Y's doors could still be opened without any issues. If there were actual occupants in the vehicle when it crashed, they would have likely been able to get out of the Model Y with few issues. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck Beta looks production ready, with original aero covers and all-season tires. Sightings of the Tesla Cybertruck production beta are increasing in frequency, with images and videos of the all-electric pickup truck being shared on multiple social media platforms in recent weeks. 
At least based on photos and videos of the vehicle, it would appear that the Cybertruck is really just a few months away from initial production. This was definitely the case with a Cybertruck production beta unit that was spotted earlier this week. The vehicle appeared to be a beta unit, as hinted at by its rear tail lights and its sharp angular side mirror. Its build also appeared to be very presentable, unlike the Alpha units that were spotted in the past. Unlike previous Cybertruck beta units that have been sighted so far, however, this particular unit was equipped with something a bit interesting. Prior to the recent sighting, Tesla's Cybertruck prototypes, after the original prototype from 2019, were typically equipped with exposed all-terrain tires. And in the rare event that the company does equip the vehicle with its original aero wheel covers, the company typically uses all-terrain tires as well. The recent sighting, which was shared on Twitter by Tesla enthusiast Gregor Truck, was a bit different. While the Cybertruck was fitted with its original aero wheel covers, it was also fitted with all-season tires. This setup likely makes the Cybertruck's ride smoother, though the refined look of all-season tires does tame the overall look and stance of the all-electric pickup truck somewhat. Despite its smooth tires, however, the Cybertruck still looks pretty intimidating. Its angular lines and steel body simply give the impression that it is a vehicle that one should probably not try to cross. Moving to the last update, Tesla releases FSD update, leaps forward in safety and customization. Tesla has released its latest update to the full self-driving software, version 11.3.4, which brings massive improvements to safety and customization, along with a vast set of new features. Elon Musk has long advertised the incredible functionality of OTA updates, especially as they continually improve your car without leaving your driveway. Perhaps nowhere have these update improvements been more evident than in full self-driving, which is now leaps and bounds ahead of where it started. Now, Tesla has released yet another update to the FSD system, bringing a slew of safety improvements, customization updates, and new features. According to Not a Tesla app, the most profound change is coming to the software's highway functionality. On the technical side, Tesla has merged the vision and planning stacks and removed the four-year-old highway stack altogether. This improvement integrates Tesla's famous multi-camera video network system and next-gen planner, allowing for more complex interactions, less reliance on painted lanes, and introduces an overall improvement in vehicle behavior. The Tesla FSD highway improvement also improves the vehicle's positioning in wide lanes, improves handling in significant turns, and improves the vehicle's positioning during cut-in scenarios, all thanks to the mining of Tesla's growing library of fleet data. Further improving safety, Tesla has issued two new features. The first, which addresses a recall of the Tesla FSD software, vastly enhances the vehicle's actions at intersections, specifically those with yellow lights, flashing yellow or red lights, and intersections coming off of highways. The second improvement addresses one of the biggest challenges FSD currently faces, user error. Tesla will now be able to suspend your FSD use if you are found to be misusing the system. Besides these more extensive improvements, Tesla has introduced many new features and UI tweaks. First, FSD visualizations continue to improve, and new visualizations have been presented, giving drivers a better idea of what the vehicle can see. Tesla has also introduced new messages at the top of the screen, explaining what the car is doing at any given time. This can be helpful not only to keep drivers informed, but pairs well with the voice drive notes that drivers can send to Tesla, explaining any issues they seem to be encountering. More minor UI changes include reorganizing the autopilot menu and a new minimal lane changes button, which will hold the car in a lane until required to change lanes to stay en route. Drivers will now also have access to the interior camera while in the vehicle, not just from their phones, and can adjust their FSD profile from the right scroll wheel on the steering wheel. Sadly, not all of these improvements seem fantastic, as Tesla has introduced the first iteration of vision-based park assist, which some drivers allege is inferior to the ultrasonic sensor system that Tesla previously employed. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. 
Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.